Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use jQuery for uh, accessing the HTML elements. So if this is an HTML document, and if you are not aware of what HTML document is, maybe you can watch a tutorial on what HTML document is. And each HTML document has a certain kind of uh, elements. Uh, that are represented by either an ID or a class. jQuery is uh, primarily used to manipulate the elements on the go. That means uh, the data doesn't need to be sent to the server. In some cases it can be, but in most of the cases when the data is on your browser, jQuery is working on your browser, for example, providing a rich interactive experience or some visual help that can be used uh, to enhance your website. So I'll just take you through how to utilize uh, jQuery to, for example, uh, change a color of a, div, a tag of HTML. So if I have a div tag and I just give it an ID, Okay, and uh, if I run this file, I just name it as id.html. So as you can see, this is just a normal text displayed in black color. What if I want to give it a uh, orange color and later on change it to blue using jQuery? I'll just give it a uh, orange background using the CSS. So CSS is also known as cascading style sheet and is defined by this word or this tag called a style and closed by uh, slash style and inside this you write the CSS. So an ID is represented by the hash. So you just take this ID from here, copy it here, open and close curly braces and for example, you want to add background color as orange. You can just write like this. Save it. And when you run this uh, file again, you'll see that this is now orange. What if I want to dynamically manipulate this thing? What if I want to show a blue color instead of orange when this thing loads? So the first thing is to select this uh, element and make the color blue. But before that, we need to find out how to use the jQuery. So you can download jQuery by doing a Google search and then going to jQuery.com and download jQuery.js. But if you want someone else to host it for you, then it's better to go for jQuery CDN uh, provided by the Google hosted libraries. So just search for jQuery CDN Google and go to Google hosted libraries. Click on this and you will be taken to a website where all these uh, hosted libraries provided free of charge by Google. Just find your jQuery file. It's right here and you will see that the moment you take this file, this part of the uh, page and copy it right here in the head section just above the slash head heading the jquery has been included now this jquery would be included in your uh, whole document and now you can start manipulating your elements with that so the second thing to do after this is start writing the code it's the best thing to put jQuery code is or any JavaScript code is at the bottom of the document just before this slash body um, tag and you can write something like script in angular brackets and close it by putting a slash in front of that so this forms a block and inside you can use this variable called as dollar or you can also use something called as jQuery. So basically, these are functions that will be doing something for you. So you can use either of them. 
I'll use dollar for this example and I want this script to be execu executed when the whole document is being loaded the important point is that you do not want your users of the website to wait till the script loads and it does its own work you first want the users to see the website and then make modifications to that so once you have this in place you just start with dollar and put a function a function is defined by these brackets and inside you put as document so basically document is the parameter that is taken by this uh, function document is essentially a javascript object that has a lot of properties and a lot of things can be attached to it so you attach to this a function called as ready so that means when the document is ready you can execute such functions so inside this ready you will have this function to be executed function again has this open and close brackets and the curly braces of the function and after that a semicolon so this is kind of uh, a little confusing for uh, early starters of the jquery when they see something like this they get scared that how can a round bracket be after a square bracket so basically i'll do it again for you dollar a function which acts on the object called as document and it has a function called as ready which takes parameter again as a function this function does something so it is inside the curly braces and to close the statement is by this semicolon so now you can make space between this and start writing your code so again to select the whole or the same the division we use the same dollar uh, function once again and we have to identify the id of the element that we want to manipulate so we use this new div the only thing that you have to do is you have to put a hash in front of it and you have to and this will generate the element this will pick up the element for you basically this id and now we have to change the css of this the background as blue so to do this it's very simple for this object we'll run this function called as css put a semicolon so that the syntax is correct and open a curly brace close a curly brace and say background and make it blue So once we have this thing in place uh, be ready for the magic because now the new div will become blue the background of it will become blue instead of the orange that has been put by the CSS just let us check it out let's run this uh, HTML file once again right now this is orange let's see what happens yes it has become blue in color so what I've done is very simple stuff I have taken an HTML file I have downloaded jQuery and added it to the head section so that it gets loaded then I have created a div and added some text to it I have given some ID to the div and I just call it new div then in the new div I have added a color in the background with orange as the color which leads us to the orange color in our previous example and after that when the document is loaded I run a script it says that when the document is ready run this function and inside this function look for this div which is this one 
and change the CSS of it. Make the background as blue. And once you do it, stop the execution of the program. This is what has happened and how, that's how we got the color blue. In case it was a class, not an ID, could have just replaced it with class, continue the div and let's say comment this once again so that we can see the orange color once again we have to replace it here also we have to make it dot so dot indicates a class so if i run this again so as you can see i have put dot new div and i have replaced id with class now how do i select this class instead of an id because it's not an id anymore so the way I can select is I can just take out the hash and put a dot here. So basically it is selecting the new div and making the background as blue. Let us check it out. So it's very sim simple to do it. Now what is the difference between the id and the class and how i can utilize it for something better so instead of now putting it as a class i would convert it back to id by putting a hash and i would put as id and i would add another thing as dot new class and I would give it a background of red here I would add two more divs and give them the new class that I have created I would just copy it again so as you can see the ID will have the background as orange the text within the ID the text within the class will have background as red both of them let's check it out if it's the same thing exactly and now I, what I want to do is I want to change this class 1 and class 2 background colors to blue but I want to keep the ID as orange so to do that I don't have to do anything or add any more code here so when this code runs the new div I just have to replace a new div with new class right here and the color of new class 1 and new class 2 would be changed to blue let's check it out if it happens this way so it's very simple so you can add ID here and you can do lot many manipulations so basically this is how you select a class and an ID so the important thing is that ID is only one in the whole document it's kind of a unique uh, to each element you cannot have you should not have uh, more than one ID of with the same name in a document while with the class it's that you can have multiple uh, divs with same same name of the class so basically when you do a dot new class it is uh, searching for both of them and then changing the value of the uh, background of these divs to the blue that's how you select an id and class using a jquery i hope you like this video thanks for watching